When Sony released the original FX3 in early 2021, it made a bold move, merging the compact design of its Alpha series with pro-level cinema camera technology. The result was a lightweight, highly capable full-frame camera that quickly gained popularity among solo filmmakers, travel videographers, and content creators who valued portability without compromising quality. Equipped with a 12.1MP full-frame sensor, Sony's beloved s Cinetone color science, and outstanding low-light performance, the FX3 carved out a unique space in the market. But despite all the praise, it wasn't without shortcomings. The FX3 lacked internal raw video recording and didn't offer open gate shooting, features that had already become standard in competing models from Panasonic and Fujifilm. Cameras like the Panasonic S1H, S5 II, and Fujifilm XS20 had already embraced open gate capture, giving filmmakers more flexibility in post-production. Meanwhile, the FX3 fell short in these areas, forcing users to rely on external gear for raw output and cropping options. Even so, the camera developed a loyal following thanks to its performance, compactness, and intuitive design. Fast forward to 2025, and Sony is preparing to release the FX3 Mark II, a much-anticipated upgrade that aims to address the limitations of its predecessor while pushing the boundaries of what a compact cinema camera can be. Based on early leaks and strong insider reports, the Sony FX3 Mark II is expected to deliver a significant leap forward in both features and usability. One of the most exciting additions to the FX3 Mark II is support for open gate recording in a 3-2 aspect ratio. This is a long-requested feature among filmmakers, and Sony finally appears to be listening. Open gate allows for full sensor readout, capturing every bit of the image without cropping. For creators who publish across multiple platforms, whether it's horizontal YouTube videos or vertical reels on Instagram and TikTok, this is a game changer. You'll be able to shoot once and crop later for different aspect ratios without sacrificing resolution or image quality. It provides unmatched versatility in post, especially when delivering content to clients with varying format needs. Another headline feature of the FX3 Mark II is internal 12-bit RAW recording. This is a huge step forward compared to the original FX3, which required an external recorder via HDMI for RAW footage. While that setup worked for some professionals, it was less than ideal for solo operators or run and gun shooters. With the Mark II, you'll be able to capture RAW video internally, streamlining the workflow and minimizing gear. The result? More freedom on set, greater mobility, and fewer points of failure. But what exactly makes internal RAW so important? RAW footage contains unprocessed image data straight from the sensor, preserving maximum detail, dynamic range, and color fidelity. And with 12-bit depth, you're getting a massive bump in color information compared to standard 8-bit or even 10-bit video. This translates into smoother gradients, richer colors, and better preservation of highlights and shadows, essential qualities for professional color grading. For filmmakers who want total creative control in post-production, this upgrade alone makes the FX3 Mark II an incredibly appealing proposition. Of course, raw power is only part of the equation. The FX3 Mark II is also expected to retain the speed, responsiveness, and real-time autofocus performance that Sony's Alpha line is known for. Borrowing heavily from cameras like the A7S III and A1, the FX3 Mark II is likely to feature Sony's AI-powered subject tracking and eye detection autofocus, making it ideal for fast-paced shooting environments. Whether you're capturing a live event, shooting a documentary, or filming a wedding, accurate and reliable autofocus can be the difference between a usable take and a missed moment. Despite these upgrades, the FX3 Mark II will likely maintain the compact form factor that made the original so popular. It's expected to stay smaller and lighter than larger cinema bodies like the FX6 or FX9, making it a go-to choice for solo shooters or filmmakers working in tight or mobile setups. However, this small size does come with trade-offs, and thermal management could be one of them. While the original FX3 featured a built-in fan to help manage heat during long takes, high-resolution RAW recording generates even more heat. It remains to be seen how Sony addresses this in the Mark II, especially if they're moving toward a fanless or quieter design, which has been rumored. Speaking of competition, the FX3 Mark II enters a crowded field of hybrid and cinema cameras. Models like the Panasonic S1H, Fujifilm X-H2, and even Sony's own FX6 offer stiff competition in different form factors. 
Where the Sony FX3 Mark II aims to stand out is in its combination of portability, professional features, and price positioning. It's expected to undercut more expensive cinema bodies while still offering features like open gate, internal RAW, and high-end color science. However, pricing is a concern. If Sony pushes the cost significantly higher than the original FX3, it may become less accessible to indie creators or budget-conscious professionals. Storage is another area where users may have mixed feelings. The Mark II is rumored to support dual CFexpress Type A and SD card slots, just like its predecessor. While this offers flexibility, CFexpress Type A cards remain expensive, and SD cards don't offer the same speeds, especially when recording high bitrate RAW internally. Ideally, Sony would improve internal recording options to reduce reliance on pricey cards, or at least optimize the firmware for better performance with affordable media. Battery life is another potential limitation. The original FX3 wasn't known for its stamina, especially when shooting 4K at high frame rates. With the move to internal RAW and higher resolution capture, power demands will only increase. Sony will need to either optimize power consumption through improved processing efficiency or introduce new battery solutions to meet the needs of all-day shooters. While we're on the topic of retained features, it's worth mentioning that some of the elements that made the original FX3 so beloved are likely to return. The 12.1 MP full-frame sensor may remain, offering exceptional low-light sensitivity and a wide dynamic range. This makes the FX3 series especially appealing for documentary shooters or creators working in uncontrolled lighting conditions. Combined with Sony's s Cinetone color profile, which delivers cinematic tones straight out of the camera, the FX3 Mark II will allow for polished, production-ready footage even without heavy post-processing. Another standout aspect of the original FX3 was its cage-free design, with multiple mounting points and a modular layout that made it easy to add accessories like monitors, microphones, or wireless transmitters. For solo operators, this setup eliminated the need for bulky rigs. The Mark II is expected to follow suit, maintaining this streamlined design while improving internal capabilities. It's a formula that worked the first time, and there's no reason to think Sony would abandon it now. Still, the FX3 Mark II may not be perfect. There are legitimate concerns about overheating, battery life, media costs, and price inflation. These are areas where Sony needs to strike the right balance to keep the FX3 lineup appealing to its core audience, solo shooters, content creators, and agile filmmakers who need pro-level performance in a portable body. Despite those potential limitations, the Sony FX3 Mark II is shaping up to be a compelling next step for compact cinema cameras. With features like open gate recording and internal 12-bit RAW, Sony is finally addressing some of the major pain points that professionals have been vocal about since the original's release. These enhancements are set to provide filmmakers with greater creative flexibility, better image quality and more efficient workflows, without having to invest in larger rigs or external gear. For creators who want cinema-grade features in a camera, they can fit in a backpack. The FX3 Mark II could be a dream come true. Whether you're a wedding filmmaker, a YouTube content creator, a travel documentarian, or an indie cinematographer, the FX3 Mark II looks like it will check all the right boxes. Its compact size, professional features, and user-friendly design position it as one of the most exciting upcoming releases in Sony's cinema line. We're eagerly waiting to see how the Sony FX3 Mark II performs in real-world scenarios. If it delivers on its promises, it could become the go-to camera for a whole new generation of storytellers. Stay tuned for more details as Sony unveils the full specs and official release date. And if you're considering an upgrade or new cinema rig in late 2025, this is definitely one camera you won't want to overlook.